Dan Stevens, so good to talk to you again. I think it's been a while. I think it was the guests last time we got to hang out and talk to each other, man. I, th- I might have been there in person even. I don't know. I, yes, it was. It was. It was, it was when you the four the country, seasons, LA. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Whole different world now. Hey, yeah. so I read that you were in lockdown. You got approached with a script. Nobody on your team, I guess, knew German. And so I guess it was pretty easy to filter up to you. And you read it and you're just like, wow, like I have to do this film. When was that aha moment for you? And um, like what was going through your mind as you're making your way through this script? Well, first of all, I, would, I, I really wanted to check that I got the German right, um, because what I felt that I was reading was a really funny and sweet and original and playful take on something that's actually quite kind of epic and philosophical about about humanity and human relationships and desire and all those kind of things but it really made me laugh and it was very kind of yeah sweet and weird and a bit silly in places there was a lot of opportunity for physical comedy and so you know I jumped on the phone with Maria Schrader who directed Unorthodox and is you know very very talented actress and now director as well and and um you know she said to me look you know if you tell me you can learn this very very complicated German and just deliver it at speed as this as this android you know, we'd love to have you here in Berlin. And um, I I love Berlin. I love Germany. I love speaking German. And so this was, you know, a, a tremendous opportunity um, to, to, you know, really do something a little bit different. And I think by by doing it in German, it's sort of, um, I don't know, it, it makes people lean in a bit. Like, you know, you've got to kind of concentrate. You're reading, you know, you're really reading the words and absorbing what this film is trying to say to you. And um, yeah, I'm delighted with how, how audiences are responding to it. And I think he nailed it. I like the lightheartedness and comedic take because we've always seen the more serious, you know, maybe draconian in a way, uh, AI being sentient being taking over. So it was fun seeing it in a more lighthearted way. I wanted to talk about the process of transitioning from your character, Tom, as like a raw AI into what he flourishes into because he's a little bit more clumsy at the beginning, the way he speaks, the way he acts. What was that process like to continue that transition as you're making the film? Yeah, it was something that was really fun to chart with Maria, just, you know, how much of the machine and how much of the human we begin to see at any given point. And and to have him fairly well constructed and kind of, you know, pretty proficient at sort of being a person at the beginning, but actually kind of getting it wrong at the same time. And he's been sort of pre-programmed and, and uploaded with a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, pre-prepared chat up lines and dance moves and kind of things which are just like all a a little bit off and so he has to you know listen and learn and calibrate and improve for the benefit of Alma Um, and uh, and so that was really really fun to sort of you know to deconstruct the human and and what we think of as kind of the expected moves of a romantic male you know and, and and what that looks like on screen and we kind of like the idea that he'd been pre programmed with old screwball comedies like Cary Grant performances and things like that and was kind of borrowing certain mannerisms and deploying them in like odd places that just wasn't working you know and and so and you know and so using that in the beginning and then just slowly evolving into something a little bit more fluent and fluid and human. How far do you think we are from something like this because we're already starting to see these relationship bots like specifically like in Japan with uh, elderly uh, individuals. How far do you think we are from seeing something similar to this? I think in, in our lifetime. I, I would say so. I mean, I think, yeah, it, it wouldn't surprise any of us to see a headline in six months time that someone had developed one of these and, you know, it, it would just become part of our culture. And I think it's my favorite kind of sci-fi really is that sort of near future sci-fi where the world we're looking at is pretty much our world with maybe one exception that there is this program that exists. And, and um, you know, it really it turns the mirror back on ourselves really. And, and I think it's a, an amazing opportunity to look at, at humanity and, and how odd we are as, as human creatures and, and seeing Tom learn that and learn perhaps how to be that as well um, and how it's our imperfections really that, that make us uh, both human, but also uh, funny and relatable. Well, Dan, it was great catching up with you. I'm your man the name of the movie and congratulations on all the awards accolades and everything i know it will be the german choice for the oscars and so congratulations on all the success of the movie man thank you 